Hello guys, how are you doing today? Me? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I love when other humans care about my well-being. Before I get started, I would just like to address that yes, I do have a new tattoo on my arm. His name is Jeffrey, and that is spelt G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y. He is a little bit of a pretentious snob, so he likes his name spelt a special way. Anyway, if you want to see me actually getting tattooed, that would be my last video. And yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. I talk a lot with my hands. You probably know this by now. So you will be seeing him a lot during the video. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about homeschooling because wow, you guys, I'm homeschooled. I know it's such a shock. I've only mentioned it a million times in all of my videos. But yes, I am homeschooled and I have been since second grade. Now, when you tell people you are homeschooling, there are usually a few questions or comments that follow after, and that is what I'm going to be talking about today, sort of the usual questions I get when I say I'm homeschooled, and my answers. Just in case any of you are thinking about becoming homeschooled, I can help you out a little bit, or if you just want to know a little bit about it. So without further ado, let's get started. So now, one of the first questions that I get quite regularly is, well, Destiny, how does homeschooling work? Well, YouTube, I am very glad you asked. In my personal, professional, not really, opinion, there are three types of homeschooling. The first one would be unschooling. The second is online school. And the third is what I call just regular, normal homeschooling. I don't know if there's a special name for it. That's just what I call it. So, unschooling is what I would say is probably the least common one out of the three. I do know people that do it. I don't know a lot about it though because I am not an unschooler. Basically, the idea of it is you learn school from life. So if you want to learn math, you would go to the grocery store and add up how much all the groceries would cost. It's kind of that idea where you don't actually sit down and learn from a textbook, you learn from life experiences. The second type of homeschooling would be online schooling. A lot of you probably are familiar with this because that is what the majority of YouTubers do instead of going to high school. So I am not really an expert on it, but I do have several friends that have done online schooling. In my opinion, this is just what I think and what my mom thinks is online schooling isn't really homeschooling, it's just doing school at home because you are still technically part of the public school system. Now, it really depends on what website you do for it, but one of the friends that I had that did online schooling did eight hours of school every single day, which in my opinion is crazy. If you're going to do that, you might as well just go to regular school. Now, I know that not all online schools are like that. You can just take one or two classes from there and do the rest with curriculum. That is just one of the examples that I have seen through my friends. Now, the third type of schooling, which is what I like to call as just regular homeschooling, is what I do. And basically, you are taught by your mom or your dad, whichever parent is staying home, to teach you. You actually have a textbook, just like you would in regular school, but instead of a teacher teaching you, it would be one of your parents. Now, doing the regular homeschooling way is a way to actually get ahead in life and your schooling, which I will go into later. And that is because you are learning one-on-one. -on -one. You are learning at your own pace. Doing online school, you don't really have a teacher right there in front of you. You would have to message them, and it might take a while to message them back, and it's just not the same as in person. So when you are doing the type of homeschooling that I do, your mom or dad, again, is the one teaching you. So it is a one-on-one -on -one experience. You learn a lot faster, and it is a lot easier to get through the subjects. Now, the second question that I get a lot is, do you like being homeschooled? And the answer is, Yes, I love being homeschooled. Um, like I said before, I've been homeschooled almost my entire life. I do remember my public school years, um, and I do not miss them at all, and I do not regret being homeschooled. That being said, I'm sure some of you are wondering why I am homeschooled, and so I guess I'll cover that right now a little bit. Basically, when I was in second grade, we met another family at our church that was homeschooled, and they seemed completely happy and normal. So my mom came and talked about it with me and my sister, and she was like, how would you feel about being homeschooled, trying it out for a year? And mainly we did it because I have very high anxiety, and I stress out and freak out a lot, and I was just not doing well mentally in school. So we thought we would try it out, see how it goes. Ended up being fantastic, never went back to public school. Boom, there you have it. So after I have explained homeschooling to people a little bit, they will make a comment saying how they could never 
stay at home with their mom every day or have their mom as a teacher. Now I personally love my mom. We have an absolute great relationship. It was no problem having her be my teacher, but for some people who don't get along with their parents, I could see how that would be a problem. Now, a lot of people who are thinking about becoming homeschooled are usually concerned about the social aspect of it. For some reason, people have this view in their mind that homeschoolers don't have any friends. And that is completely untrue. The amount of clubs and activities there are when you're a homeschooler is absolutely insane. For example, um, when I was younger, I was in several homeschooling groups where we would meet a few times a week and go to the park. I was in two theater groups where, you know, we rehearsed and then put on a play. If you are homeschooled, you can actually participate in your local high school's athletic department. So if I wanted to right now, I could go and try out for my local high school's like track, soccer, volleyball team. I have absolutely no desire to, but if I wanted to, I could. So, there you go. Can't hold me back, guys. Once again, homeschoolers are, I think, some of the most social people because we are not stuck in a school building all day. We get to go out and do whatever we want, and just some days we just don't even feel like doing school. I remember back when I was younger, every once in a while, my mom would just be like, Hey guys, let's go to the zoo today, or let's go to a museum, or just hang out with friends, and we'll do school another day. Like, what? How awesome is that? Now, saying that actually leads me to my next point, which is, are homeschoolers dumb? Because I think that that is an assumption that most public schoolers or people have about homeschoolers, is that we are not very bright, which is, again, completely untrue. In actuality, homeschoolers are usually a lot brighter than public schoolers because we do have the one-on-one -on -one time. So this is something a lot of people do not know, but homeschooling curriculum is actually a lot more advanced than public schoolers curriculum, so we are learning on a higher level. For example, I once knew a 17 year old who was getting his master's degree. So that is one of the assets of being homeschooled is you get to start your life a lot quicker. So you know, a lot of homeschoolers are already halfway through college by the time they graduate high school because they don't have to be stuck in a regular school. They can start going to college when they are 12. Now the last and final question that I get a lot is if I am very religious because again people seem to have this assumption that only really hardcore Christians homeschool because they don't want their kids learning about evolution and things like that. So yes I am a Christian and no I am not homeschooling for that fact. Once again we just decided that it would be better for me to be homeschooled but I do know very strong atheists that are homeschoolers and I do know very strong Christians that are homeschoolers and then I just know normal people that are homeschoolers. It's not a oh I homeschool because I'm Christian or oh I homeschool because I don't want my kids learning about all these things they teach in school. It's just a fact that sometimes people homeschool just because they want to homeschool. That is that. Mm. Good ending. Okay. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions about being homeschooled or anything like that, feel free to ask me and I will answer them. Water. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye!